Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games. Today we'll be checking out Braindead 13 on the 3DO. This is one of my favorite retro games. It's actually an interactive cartoon. If you ever played Dragon's Lair or Space Ace, it's definitely along the lines of those games. Where basically as you play the game, you have to pick which direction you want to go. And you also have an action button. You have to hit it at a certain time. If you mess up, you'll actually be killed. We're going to go ahead and check out the introduction to the game so you know the story. And once the intro is over, we'll get back into the gameplay. Something is wrong, Fritz. Fetch me schematic 13, Fritz. The red one. Once I have corrected this minor annoyance, I shall go on to execute my master plan. <laughs> Follow the transverse directional rectifier. Go right. <laughs> Now, right, you fool, right! <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to need a proper pair of hands. A computer expert. <laughs> Fritz, you must prepare for his arrival. <laughs> Lead our unwitting participant into a false sense of security. <laughs> and then, you'll know what to do. <laughs> Hi, pal. I'm Lance from Computer Town. Sorry I'm a bit late. I had trouble finding the place. So, your network's down, huh? Oh, there she is. Oh, no problem, sir. I can fix anything. Oh, man, what a piece of junk. Okay, what do we got here? A triple transducing capacitator. Hmm? A digital coupling connected to... Oh man, surprise, surprise, a burnt out diode. Gummy gum, sir. Cool, thanks. Okay, that's 1595 for the neighbor. And that's on the part. And there's. Um, 2250. And who should I build this up to? Dr. Neurosis. Dr. Neurosis. You ain't one of those mad, disembodied scientist guys bent on taking over the world, are you? How did you know? Man, I played a lot of video games, and I know an average. Hey, average? Average? I am not average! You are in the presence of a self idiot. My slave terminals are connecting to the global network. Soon, nothing shall stand in my way. I will rule the world. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, Lance. Think fast, Lance. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Hiya, <Hiya, pal. laughs> <laughs> So, I need a little repair. 
Then it's a deadly game you'll get! We shall see just who is our age! <laughs> All right, so that is the intro to the game. Let's go ahead and get started up here by selecting new game. And now when we play, we actually have to control Lance, the computer repair guy. And we will see how good my memory is. I used to play this game a lot, so I have most of this memorized. We'll see how good I do here. I love the animation and art style of this game so much. All right, so we should be approaching our first decision right here. All right, we'll go left first. Oh, I didn't hit it quick enough. Okay, so here's what happens when you don't push a button in time. You get killed. But Lance always comes back. So at least you guys get to see what happens when you die in case they do really good from here on out. So once you die, it'll start you at the nearest checkpoint. And the checkpoints, they don't really tell you when you get them, but you'll know because you'll start later in the game. You can also save your game at any time. Alright, so that time we got everything the way we needed to. You can tap the button a little earlier. That's when you'll hear that little, like, weird noise here and there. Now we'll go left first. All right, we gotta fight the little marionette. I love this guy. Got this one memorized. Awesome, once we get up here, we gotta go to the left and run away from Fritz. Uh-oh, gotta go. Awesome, all right. We wanna go left first. If you go up, you actually fight the sports guy. He's pretty funny, but we're gonna save him for later. Now we want to go left. Eventually we'll go up here at a different section. That's how you get to the final boss. All right, so yeah, when you hear the little dinging noise, it means you've entered something correct. And the little percussive noise means you can't push anything yet. buddy. Okay. <laughs> Jump away from the cat. Now we want to go down. Eventually we'll go up the other way. Yep, now we'll go up. So far, so good. Jump on the witch. Sweet, we did it. First try on the witch, awesome. Now let's go to the right. We'll go to the hair salon place. This place is awesome. There's actually a version of this game, too, where this part of the game actually is broken. And if you make a certain selection, sometimes it'll boot you back out to the uh, title screen. I found out this the hard way and actually had to buy another copy of the game where it had an updated disc. Vivi's awesome. Definitely a really cool character. I love how she turns into a bat. There's this freaking nature chasing me, and there we go! Mm -hmm. Snug as a bird. Huh? There's Fritz! Oh, another customer! Hold tight, sweetie. Mom. How you doing, Mr. Fritz? Here to have your hooks done? As you can plainly see, I already have a client right now. Mm -hmm. oh, I know! You can try the new coffin steamer that Cleo sent me. In you go. Really? <laughs> Poor Fritz. We'll get rid of that spider. 
Um, lady, I really don't need a... I know exactly what you need. Mm. Well, at any rate, I'm already a little... <gasps> behind. <laughs> a little behind. I love that. That's hey. funny. We go out later for a she has no yes. reflection because she's a you vampire, which like is really cool. Mm -hmm. well, right now, what'll it be? Shave mm -hmm. or a manicure? Let's go with shave. Mm -hmm. Oh, a shave. I believe if you pick the wrong things, you actually lose this. So hopefully, we're doing it right. You know, I don't do many of these. I may be a bit rusty. Mm -hmm. Hmm, this don't look very sharp. I'll be right back. Yeah, we did it. Oh, All right, cool. Sweetie, you've fallen for VV already. Well, right now, what'll it be? A facial or a manicure? Let's do the manicure. Hmm. Oh, a manicure. Good old VV. <laughs> he has some big assets. Here we are. Okay, honey, give Vivi your little. Oh, this part can be awful sometimes. See if I remember this. Up. I think it's left. And then up. Oh, we did it. It's awesome. Hmm, this don't look very sharp. Funny is I can't remember people's phone numbers, but I can remember how to play this game. <laughs> oh, I didn't pick quick enough. Oh. <laughs> what do I get for bragging? I love all the different death scenes in this game. Though. It's almost worth dying here and there just to see them. All right, we know we can do this already. All right, make sure we pick something this time. This don't look very sharp. Now, what'll it be? A shave or a facial? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, a facial. <laughs> what I use is Vivi's own Mortify Beautify. Comes with an afterlife guarantee. <laughs> Oh, great. <laughs> Fritz has the oversized clippers. Okay, in you go. Step one. All right, we dodged that. <laughs> I love that. There we go. I knew eventually I could run away. Poor VV is not looking so good anymore. We'll head up. This will look familiar. You actually have to fight this other witch and everything's reversed from last time. So sometimes I confuse myself on this one. Hopefully I won't screw this up. Cat's crazy. 
Yeah, so it's everything like before just reversed, so it's pretty tricky. Can really be confusing. So we wanna go left instead of right here. Left again. Left to dodge the cat. All right, down, that was correct, I believe. We don't want to go up yet. Oh, I wasn't quick enough. So I always tap the buttons a little early. And your head ends up in the witch brew. go up. Fire. Up. Now I gotta jump on this switch. And fire to get off of this. Now I'll go right in the hallway. Now, jump back down here. We're gonna go right. Bedroom is actually really cool. To fight some ghosts here. Get out of this room. We get to go to the library, which is cool. Librarian guy's pretty sweet looking. One of the easier ones, there's only three things we gotta do in this one. Alright, now we'll head up, which will take us to the garden. There we go, right. Alright, this one can be confusing too. I'm glad I get it right. Speaking of right, I believe we go right first. Now we want to go up. Now we want to go left until we can't go left anymore, I believe. This we'll find out the hard way. This game is so unique. I would love to see what they could do with a modern game like this. I love the idea of an interactive cartoon. I just think it's really fun. I just wish maybe there was more options. It was less linear, which you actually can do this in any order you want, but to beat the game, you have to kind of do it in a specific order. All right, let's see here. All right, now we have to go down. There's little visual cues that help you realize where you're going. This can get very confusing. All right, past the statue, now I'm gonna go right. We're almost there, I believe. All right. Yes, we did it right. You get through that gate, you know you're on the right track. We'll head up here. And this should take us to the battle where you have to fight this giant statue guy. There he is. This game has the coolest characters. Oh, I have one more left to hit, I think. Sorry, Lance. Oh, yeah. All right, I hope I'll do a little better this time. There we go. Hi, 
a pal? You? Huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm a little rusty on this part, obviously, but we'll get it. Oh, it started me in a different spot than I expected. But as you can see, there's just so many death scenes. It's really cool. That guy's pretty cool. Don't go in the ear. I think if you go in the ear, you start all the way over. Okay, cool. one button wrong. Sweet. We made it back to the hallway. Alright, now we want to go left. But I wasn't quick enough. <laughs> A little quicker. There we go. I like this because it's the same room we were in before, but it's got a different enemy now. Very cool. There's actually more to do this time, too. More buttons to push. Bedroom also changes here. You get this cool little ghost guy with a knife. He's really cool. And up, and we're out of there. Alright, hallway should be coming up again. We have to do the same exact thing we did before. Remember the little marionette guy? We have to kick him and climb up his ropes again. Left, right, fire, up. And what do you know, Fritz is here to get me once again as well. It's deja vu, guys. But this is the only way to get back to this section that I know of. That sports guy I was talking about earlier, we're actually gonna head up and fight him now. Oh crap. Well, <laughs> once again, I didn't push the button quick enough. Ooh, that's the death music when you fight the sports guys. So that's cool. Pass that part, all right. All right, we're off to a good start here. That's the part I get stuck on a lot, so hopefully I pull it off. But we've passed the checkpoints, uh, so if we do mess up, at least I can start later in it. Down. Up. Up. Down. Down. Left. Right. Up. Woo! Okay, we did it. Actually thought there was another button to push, but I was wrong. 
doing great. I usually get stuck on that section forever, so I'm pretty impressed I actually got through it so quickly. There's all his body parts. There we go. Now we'll head to the left. And if everything was done correctly, there should be a new elevator in this section. Let's hope we did it right. Yes, there's the elevator. We did it right. We're getting really close to the end now. We got two more areas. All right, time to fight Fritz. This is one of the hardest parts of the game. The timing on this one is really precise. And if you mess up here, it really stinks because you have to rewatch the scene over and over. So hopefully I don't do too bad on this. start this one early. I know we want to fire first. There we go. We got past that. That means we don't have to watch the rug scene over and over. Oh, that one's hard. There's like, you gotta hit fire twice really fast. Do you like how he shakes off his face and everything that's splattered on him? There we go. There we go. Got past section one. <laughs> Fritz is awesome. Oh. Let's see if I can get this one right on the first try. All right. I keep finding weapons as I go up, and Fritz just always has weapons. Awesome. <laughs> it's awesome when you die when you actually get to see a cool little animation like that. Alright, I can get this one. Come on, Fritz. Right. Fire. Left. Fire. Right. Yes. 
We're getting closer. So close. There we go. Take that, Fritz. Shattered the hammer. Shout out to Zero the Hammer Slayer for that one. He loves hammers. Awesome. We made it to the final section. We can do this. Guess who's still alive, guys? Mr. Fritz. Oh, he looks awesome when he zooms up close. All right, this part's really hard. All right, this is when things get crazy. Love that. Very funny. Oh, but we still screwed it up. Shoot the crap out of the wrong guy. Oh, we're so close to being done here. Yeah, awesome. Fritz is crazy. I just love him. He's such a cool character. I would love to see them do something really cool with these characters. They could make Brain Dead 13 an adventure game or even like a 2D platformer or anything. I just would love to see all these characters come back again. Even a new interactive cartoon would be sweet. I know I gotta hit up one more time here or I die. I don't remember when to hit it though. There we go. We did it! We beat Brain Dead 13 on the 3DO. That was really fun. I actually did better than I thought I would as far as getting through it, guys. Back to work. Lance, our computer repair guy, gets back in his van and takes off. I'm always a little disappointed in the ending of this game. Even the intro's really long. I wish there'd be a little bit more to the ending. But it's still really cool. Because after all that hard work, you would hope for a little bit more at the end. And that's the end of Brain Dead 13. I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. This is definitely one of my favorite games. It's very unique. I don't see the interactive movie uh, cartoon kind of games like this coming back anytime soon but I would love to see some indie companies do it or try it with HD graphics something like this could be really cool you can actually get this game um, on some app stores too I know iPhone has it I'm not sure about droids but you might want to look into that if you want to play Brain Dead 13 that'll be the easiest way to get a copy of this game it also came out on a few other systems once again thanks so much for watching let me know what you guys think in the comments I hope you guys enjoyed this 
Till next time, I'll see you around. Thank you.